A pony is mauled by a pit bull that had wandered into a pasture out in Fairview. The attack happened off Highway 70 early this afternoon, and the owner of that pony says she had to fight to save her prized pet's life. News 13's Frank Crocker is streaming live for us tonight. Frank, it wasn't hard for the dog to get onto the property. No, it's a rural area, and the picket fence around that pasture is there only to keep large animals from getting out. And once that pit bull got inside, it did some serious damage. Now, the pony's going to be okay, but we want to warn you, some of this video is graphic. Hey, Ella, come here. Come here, baby girl. Ella is three years old and a member of the family. Hey, 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 hey. what you doing? Jennifer Cardillo says she's like a dog, loyal and affectionate. Hey, baby girl. It was someone else's pet that latched onto her lower jaw. My Ella, you know, she lifted her head up and the dog, I mean, it was, it was really nasty. It was terrible. Jennifer found out about the attack from a neighbor boy who knocked on her door and said his dog had gotten into the yard. I'm just kicking this pit bull and I'm yelling at the boy and there was a, a guy over there and I'm like, get in, get this dog. You know, they weren't doing anything. Once the dog finally let go, Jennifer says the boy took it away and she called her vet. Yeah, he sewed her up all in her, her mouth because that part he was hanging on to and it ripped it off. It was hanging down. Jennifer says the animal control officer who responded was sympathetic, but that he said all he could do was cite the owner for violation of the county leash law. A first offense gets you a fine. I just feel like if I came out here with a machete and did that to her, I would go to jail, you know? They said until he's loose again, they can take him when he's loose again. Now, I don't know that the dog should be put down. I don't know how I feel about that, but I feel like he should have been taken away. If I wasn't home, she would be dead. I just happened to be home today. Now, Jennifer says Ella will need more stitches. The Sheriff's Department, Sheriff's Office, says that this case is still under investigation. We tried to contact the owner of the dog and were not able to. Reporting live in Buncombe County, Frank Crocker, News 13.